In this video, I'm going to extend an activity that was described and created in a previous video so that it includes student feedback. Let's take a look at the preview of the activity as it exists now. To complete the task, the student has to enter the absolute value of x minus 3 plus 1, and the teacher can see a check mark in the dashboard, but the student doesn't see any feedback. So I'd like to alter the activity so that it provides the student with some feedback. Now, let's take a quick look at where that check mark comes from. Going to the graph, in the previous video, we developed some check numbers that compare the student input g of x with what the actual function should be, h of x. And we checked it at three different points. So it doesn't absolutely guarantee that the answer is correct, but if those three points match, there's a very good chance that the student entered the correct expression. Those three numbers are then accessed in the computation layer script of the input here to signal that the correct entry was produced. I'd like to start by altering this slightly. It's possible to create variables and I'd like to create an is correct variable. So if I type is correct and then equals, I'm going to cut this expression from here and use it to define the is correct variable and then type is correct. So that maybe seems like an insignificant change, but what that will do, it will allow me to access whether the is correct variable, Boolean variable is true or not from elsewhere in the activity. So I'd like to show two ways in which we could provide the student with feedback. Perhaps the simplest method is to just add to the computation layer script of the note so that it changes the note when the student enters a correct response. And so rather than defining the content here in the visible portion of the note, I'd like to define the content in the computation layer script and then have that content be variable so that it can change depending on the response of the student. So let me copy the text that's here right now. Actually, let me cut this and say C computation layer script and then go into the computation layer script and typing the sync content. I'm going to define this with a when otherwise statement and otherwise will be the text that we just saw, the, sort of the default text before any answer is given. So this default script, I need to adjust a little bit. I need to add double backslashes here in the LaTeX commands so that they're formatted correctly. So each of these single backslashes needs to become a double backslash. And then that will be the default before the student enters any answer. The answer is judged whether it's correct or not based on the input. So here's where we can access the input one, the script, and the variable is correct. So if that's true, then I want the text of the note to indicate that. So I'm going to copy what we have here inside the quotation marks and paste it up above and then simply add the line, your answer is correct. And then as a second when input, I want this to appear when the answer has been submitted. So let me say input one dot submitted. But if the answer is incorrect, then here we can put that same 
initial text, but then the statement, your answer is incorrect. And just to help the student kind of see their answer and kind of see this statement, we could also add what their answer is here. So using a dollar sign and then braces, I can access the input LaTeX statement. And so let me put that into each of these messages. And to encourage, let me add the statement, please try again. So let's take a look at the activity now. So if I go to the preview and type in the absolute value of x minus three and hit enter or share with class, I see that I missed something and this is actually pretty good to notice. I didn't add a little tick mark that generates the LaTeX format. So let me go back into the computation layer for the note. And here, I want to put a little tick mark, not, a, not an apostrophe, but a little tick mark in closing those statements so that the LaTeX input gets formatted as a mathematical statement. And now let's go back to the preview and see what happens. So if I type in the absolute value of x minus three and leave off the upward translation, we see the answer is incorrect. Please try again. If I go back and try again, it reverts because the statement is now active and not, not submitted. So it goes back to the default. And so let me add plus one. And this time it was correct. So this is one way to provide the student with feedback on their responses. Now, a second way that we could provide a student with feedback is on a separate screen in a table. So let me add a new screen and I'm gonna call this checkpoint and add a table. And let me also add a note. So I'm gonna add a third column to the table. And in this column, the student will see whether their answer was correct or not. In the middle column, they'll see what their answer was. And in the first column, we could give a problem number or a task number. So a table like this would allow the teacher to give feedback on more than one previous screen. Now in this task column, I'm going to format as text, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the correct column. The your answer column, because it's a formula, I'm gonna keep that with mathematical formatting. Now the second and third column will be defined in the computation layer. And in the note, let me just give some directions. Use the table to check your work. So now one more thing to mention, the title row is called row zero. And this row underneath of it, of course, is row one. And so in the computation layer, I'm gonna define the cell content of row one, column two, and when the answer has been submitted, so referring back to input one from the first slide, when input one has been submitted, I want that content to be input one dot LaTeX. And then, of course, with every when statement, you need an otherwise and we'll just keep it empty otherwise. In the third cell, row one, column three, when input one dot script dot is correct, that variable that we defined, when that is true, I want the cell to say correct. And otherwise, incorrect. 
So let's take a look. If I go to preview, I can see currently it's incorrect. If I go back and type in the correct response, I can see from our former work that the answer is correct. And if I go to the table, I can see that that has changed to correct. However, I don't see an answer here yet because I haven't submitted my response. So once it's submitted, I can see that answer in the column in the middle. So let me add just one more refinement. Let me add a condition that to see the correct response, the input has to be submitted. So I could add that statement here, and then a second when statement for just when the input has been submitted, and at that point we'll show incorrect, and then the otherwise statement could be changed to submit your answer, or answer not submitted. So let's take one more look at the activity. So this time we see answer not submitted. If I go back and type in a partial answer or an incorrect answer and share it with the class, in the table, I see that it's incorrect. And if I go back, and correct that response and submit it again, I see that it's correct. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.